Hello everyone, this is Cypherdag, and today we are in EverQuest Project 1999 on Malik and we are in Soulsec B. I am the puller at the moment, and I am uh, trying to clear, is it the nobles or the royals? I think we're actually pulling both, because uh, once we got everything cleared here, I ended up uh, starting to pull all the rest of the area. Um, I was grouped with AC Gamer, who was playing Dimaru the Rogue. Or the, not the Rogue, but oh my goodness. He's going to complain about it. <laughs> oh my god, how'd you call me a Rogue? Um, no, he's the Cleric. Uh, we also have Hydros Inc., who is the warrior in the group. We have uh, some other people who ended up joining us. I don't know if Chupa's here at this time, but um, we were able to hold down um, this whole area pretty well. The priest was up, so um, I was the main assist, and while I would rather have um, Thum be the tank, and later on in other locations... He was the tank. I, I ended up having the tank because it's hard to pull off of me. Even whenever I'm using a two-hander, I tend not to use my taunt as much. But, uh, yeah, it, um, it's definitely very interesting having being the tank when you have a warrior in the group. But in reality, warriors don't really come into their own until level 50 uh, because uh, right now his... Uh, taunt is at 200 while mine is at 180 whenever he gets level 50 and i'm level 50 his taunt will be far above mine and as long as i don't cast anything that will pull aggro or if i um, minimize my aggro abilities then he should be able to hold taunt the whole time now uh one thing that we've been talking about um uh, as a group, uh, me, AC Gamer, and Hydro Sync is about the way to build a warrior. And I think a lot of people were getting on his case because he kept talking about how he wants to build more decks, get more decks, and all this. Um, and while decks is what makes rogue, not rogues, oh my gosh, why am I thinking of rogues? It's because it, that rogue is always on the screen whenever I try to say one, someone's name. Whenever a a warrior is skilling up and getting stats, dex is what makes their weapons proc. Uh, weapons procking is what allows them to hold aggro. And once um, once he's level forty five, he gets his whip will start procking as well. So he'll have a snare, a snare, and a, um, and clinging darkness, which is the darkness spell that I had before the current one I'm using. So he will be able to, um, have two spells casting on the mob. They may not land because either I have a better spell that I'm using, or if a druid's in a group and they snare, their snare is going to be better than what he procs, but it doesn't matter. It's the procking itself that will um, will end up getting him his aggro. So yeah, it's um, it's a, one of those things that uh, that yes, Dex is something that you need to build. And while he is trying to add Dex, he understands that he had um, he does need to have stamina, strength. And agility as well, because agility um, increases AC. It doesn't increase it by a lot, but um, any agility that you have is a bonus. Plus, um, by the time he gets a full set of Coldain armor, he will have all those stats pretty close to max, especially strength him being, being a barbarian. One thing that we were discussing was that barbarians... Uh, or warriors don't need that much strength versus, say, dex. And that's not completely true either, because any bonus you can add to your damage is going to help you hold aggro as well as, um, as well as your procs. While I'm using a two-hander that does not have a proc on it until 50, my two-hander doesn't do very much damage. 
it's just a little bit above what my one-hander does. And it has a good delay on it for being a two-hander. So, I, it, he, I won't be holding aggro for too much longer. I am trying to be more DPS in the group, but I do have more hit points and I have more uh, AC just because I am higher level than he is. Though he's catching up. He's, uh, he ding level 44. I ding level 46 today. So he'll be catching up. He'll get his stats. <laughs> I think, um, just him talking about him made other people talk about how he doesn't need certain things. And I, it's just one of those things for warriors. And now it's like an SK. I don't need wisdom, but, uh, wisdom, uh, wouldn't hurt me to have it as a secondary or fourth or fifth, um, uh, stat because, um, I am a crafter and wisdom will help me with certain crafting abilities. It's not something that I'd have as a primary piece of armor or item, but it is something that I would like to have for whenever I'm doing the certain kind of crafting that wisdom does help. That's like for um, blacksmithing. I want to have my strength up. I think for tailoring, you want to have your stamina I, I may be wrong. I'm not really good with what uh, crafting does, what stats, but I do plan to do the Coldane Ring uh, quest, which it does have some crafting in it, and the Coldane Shaw quest. Being a Shadow Knight, I need the Flowing Thought, um, and also the Ring is amazing, so <laughs> I want to get both of those. Also, another quest, we really need a Ranger Friend <laughs> because a ranger friend would really help with um with getting um the eye patch of the plunderer which is another thing I'd really like to do because that will give me good stats also it has a haste on it which I think is a casted haste now I'm not going to say that for sure because to be honest I don't know <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's, um, it's one of those things that I definitely want to do, but without a ranger to help me track Stormfeather, I think it is, uh, there's no way I can get that quest done. And Stormfeather is the, the hardest part about it. Um, you would think that the Lodi would be the, Lodi would be the hardest part, but that's not completely true because, um, Lodi is a pretty easy kill. He's a one group kill with the right people. And I also want the Lodi shield for a back item because, again, adding AC to my character for a back slot would be so nice. And, of course, it has other stats. But those are the things that I'm, I've been thinking about. I, I have um, I have some money now, by the way. So I am looking at getting some Coldane pieces. Also, we camped the animated armor the other day. So we do have some of the gems. I have uh, one gem for three parts of armor. So, so all I need to do is get two more of the same gems and uh, the multi-quest or get the drop if I get in one of those, uh, get in a Kale gr uh, group, then uh, yeah. So that'd be kind of nice. I'd like to definitely get to to get the helm just because of the graphic Definitely would like to get uh, the breastplate and the legs, but again, if unless I um, either keep my guild, which I, I don't get me wrong, I love my guild. Guilds help me a lot. They let me do things that um, I wouldn't think other guilds would. But uh, we uh, we have become smaller since I played last. I uh, I I don't know. I want to I want to be grouping with my guild which I had I did the other day. I'd like to get to where I can do some raiding, but it's not looking like it with my guild. And being that most of my friends are in Blackheart Pirates, I might go back to them. The reason I got out of them, but Blackheart Pirates uh and kittens and uh venerate they just have a lot of people in them, and I don't like being in in uh, guilds with lots of people because then I don't know who they are. Um, but I would I would forego that just so that I could get 
armor pieces and get in raids and be productive with my character. And that's really what it's about uh, for some people, like myself, who want to be productive, want to grow my character. I don't want to be a level 60 and still look exactly the same way I do. It would be very depressing to, <laughs> to me. Um, where other people, they don't mind. Um, they don't mind it. They don't mind uh, staying level 60 with just decent gear that they bought. Um, I would rather have the the right gear. I'd rather have a full set of TOV armor, get myself the sword that drops off of um, the main bad guy in um, TOV. Those are the kinds of things I'd really love to have, but, you know, they won't happen if I don't get in a guild that does those kind of things. And Blackheart Pirates being combined with the kittens... They are they're writing more, they're doing more things, and I wish I could be a part of that. So, just something I've been thinking about, um, that I've been talking with the guild leader and um, people in my guild, and they want to do things, we just don't have the people online. Um, I think today we had six people online, and they were so varied in levels I don't believe they, I don't know, I'll, uh, uh, <laughs> they they probably wouldn't have done anything. They they want to so bad, but um, yeah. But anyway, guys, that's it. That's all I really wanted to talk about. I'll talk to you guys later. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.